Hi, this is Jack from Maths Forge, and in today's lesson, we're going to be doing volumes of triangular prisms. So let's take a look at our first example. Here, we're being asked to find the volume of this triangular prism. It's got a height of 5, a base of 8, and a depth of 6. If we look at the formula for the triangular prism, it's going to be base times height divided by 2, which is really the area of this triangle here, the front face of the triangular prism, and then multiplied by depth, which is this 6 here how deep the shape goes. And so if we calculate this, it looks like the following. So it's going to be base times height divided by 2 times depth. And so 8 times 5 is 40. 40 divided by 2 is 20. And then we multiply this by the depth 6, which gives us a final answer of 120 meters cubed. Don't forget, we're dealing with a volume, so the unit is going to be cubed. And since we're dealing with side lengths that have units of meters, then the volume is going to be meters cubed. And if we check our answer... There it is. So let's do a two-star example now. Here we're being asked to find the volume to three decimal places of this triangular prism. So just as we did for the one-star example, we're going to take the side lengths for this triangular prism and use the formula. So the first thing we're going to do is find the area of this face here. So it's going to be the base, 5.4, times the height, which is 6.6, .6, divided by 2. And then this is going to be multiplied by the depth, which is 4.8. Calculating this gives us a value of... 85.536 and the unit for the volume is going to be meters cubed and there we are if we check our answer there it is now let's do a three star example here we're being asked to find the missing side given a volume so they've actually given us the volume in this case and the volume is 85.91 meters cubed we're missing the base though so this is going to be a matter of inputting the values that we currently have into this formula and then rearranging for the base, which they've labeled as X. So the triangular prism volume is actually on the left-hand side of this formula. So I'm going to replace that by 85.91, which is the volume. And this is going to be equal to the base times the height. The base is labeled as X. And then this is going to be multiplied by the height, which is 4.4, all divided by 2 and then multiplied by the depth, which is 5.5. So now this becomes a matter of rearranging for x. The first thing I'm going to do is cancel out this 5.5, and it's currently being multiplied, so I'm going to divide through by 5.5. This leaves us with 15.62 on the left-hand side, because 85.91 divided by 5.5 gives us 15.62. And on the right-hand side, we're going to be left with x times 4.4, all divided by 2, and this times 5.5 has been cancelled out, so there's no need to write it anymore. The next thing we're going to cancel out is this divided by 2. So x times 4.4 is currently being divided by 2, so we're going to cancel it out by multiplying by 2 on both sides. This leaves us with 31.24 on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side it leaves us with x times 4.4. Now for our final step to rearrange for x, which is the base for this triangular prism, a 4.4 is currently being multiplied onto it, so we're going to divide by 4.4. This leaves us with 7.1 on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side it leaves us with x. So the base of this triangular prism must be 7.1. And I'll put the units there. It's going to be meters since it's a length, and the volume is in meters cubed. And if we check our answer, there it is. And that's it for the lesson on volumes of triangular prisms.